tie in your thread in the metal of the hook shank. Wind it back till it's in line with the hook point. Take your marabou feather, trim off the small pieces at the bottom of the quill, and make sure you don't have the hard quill that's in the middle of the marabou feather. Pick a piece that is nice and feathery. Tie on the marabou feather, secure with two to three wraps. If you wanted a wire rib, you would tie in the wire rib at this point. Then you would tie in your chenille and secure with two to three wraps and wind it, wind your thread back about two eye lengths from the hook eye. Take your chenille and wind it to where you stopped the thread. Always winding away from you. Secure it with two to three wraps and trim the excess. Here I tie in my quill. But first if you wanted you could have tied in it tied your quill in after you tied on your wire rib tip first I do it butt first here because I like the way the feather lies when you wind it back down towards a marabou secure the hackle feather in place with three to four wraps trim off the excess Take your hackle feather and wind it back down the chenille, evenly spacing it as you go. Once you have done this, take your thread and wind it back down towards a marabou wiggling it in between the hackle feathers as you go. This will secure your hackle feather into place. Once you're back down to the tail, do three to four wraps to secure that hackle feather into place. And at the end you will trim this excess part. Then take your thread and wind it back towards the hook eye, wiggling it in between as you go. Build up a nice head with five to six wraps or more. And if you really want that first group of hackle feathers to, li to lie back down, pointing back towards a hook point, wind over, build your head over those first three or four hackle feathers, and this will get you that nice look. I use a whip finisher to tie three to four knots. I trim the excess and add head cement, and then the fly is complete.